Hey guys, so when it comes down to being prepared, one of the biggest things is actually having a survival pack, something like this. Now, with everything that you put in it, depending on what you're doing, um, it will take up a lot of space. As you can see, it is actually fairly full, where I do have some stuff hanging on the outside, just to save on space. But, you know, when it comes down to it, especially if you're a camper, um, what you want to do is plan. And, I mean, I do have a lot of extra stuff just in case I might need it. Um, which, one of these days, I will probably go through the, all the stuff that I do have. Um, just for reference on what you guys might want to use. Um... There are times where, you know, yeah, you'll think you'll need this and that and all that stuff. Um, but you're going to find that you're going to run out of room fairly quickly. And leave you with very little to no room for any, any of the extra stuff that you're going to need. Like, uh, say, clothing and food. Um, I do have a canteen that I can actually hang on the outside of it. Um, I could even throw it on my shoulder. But, when it comes down to it, if you do tend to run out of room fairly quick, um, one thing I would suggest is having an add-on bag. Um, this will actually help get a little bit more room for like some of the other stuff, like clothing and food and stuff like that, which is what I have here. Um, this is actually a nice little bag. It has a lot of compartments. The main part and it has three side pockets along with some extra storage on those pockets especially on top here you can put stuff in here it does fold open and especially up front here this does unzip for some small stuff very small stuff um, but it would not hurt to have an extra light duty bag to go with your survival pack. And the best part is it does come with a nice little handle or a shoulder strap and a couple of nice little handles. So that way, when it comes down to it, um, you can actually use that for um, extra stuff you're carrying out. And say you're out hiking or whatever you can even use that to grab your basic needs instead of carrying out the bag you know your survival pack on a long hike or whatever just get you what you basically need leave some of the stuff there so that way you're not carrying all that extra weight with you um, other than that there's uh, some ideas for a survival pack I will actually go through some of the stuff I do have to show you guys what I have in my my pack along with maybe some MREs and you know some other stuff that I might throw in depending on time of year um, but yeah if you actually go out camping or hiking this time of year snow it is a little cold so you know make sure you have extra clothes socks especially socks um, stuff like that um, just to stay warm along with fire starters and you know, stuff to make sure you can actually stay warm and cozy. Um, other than that, I will be going some over some other stuff for you. Um, like I said, I'll go through my rucksack. I'll give you guys some ideas on what to bring, what to do, what to use, stuff like that.